Hello everybody, Jackson here with the Well Squad. Today we'll be talking about Apple and Amazon earnings uh, because those two companies are some of the biggest in the actual stock market right now. So it's important in my opinion to look at these and we get a real glimpse into the actual economy. So today Amazon reported as well as Apple. Um, actually that was yesterday in the after hours trading but today was their first day trading after the fact. Uh, you can see Amazon, they beat on earnings. They lost a little bit to revenue, which is kind of minimal, right? They had a good earnings report. However, they delivered weak guidance in the following months and quarters and years, uh, which means basically they're not going to do as good as they expected. But uh, and all in all, right, Amazon dropped from, you can see, 110. Uh, that was a closing price down one point down 12 percent and after hours yesterday it was down 20 percent so down 12 percent and since that price at 97 you can see amazon closed up at 103 so they gained six percent uh in just one day right and you can see that on the year that green candle where it dropped to this price and climbed up there and amazon this is the lowest it's been since covid you can see that right there um, back then, earnings were 32 cents a share, 25, 21, back to 28, negative 20, negative 37, dollar 33, or what was that dollar 38, dollar 38, 30 cents, 75 cents, 79, 70, 61, 51. So they've gone from 30s right to 20s to a dollar and 30 back down to 20s um, Amazon as you may have noticed does not really care about that profit margin. They care about growing uh, Because their business is based around volume, right? They didn't really care about breaking even until just recently you can see two cents They're making 10 cents was a good course 16 cents 25 cents 28 cents go back even more two cents five cents that's what they're estimating this is 2015 when everyone already knows about amazon um now they're doing a little bit better 25 32 51 on a good day 35 and now they still don't really care that much however they did estimate for 21 cents and they delivered 28 cents um, which is good a very good beat and they delivered bad guidance for the following quarter and next year is I'm sorry, next quarter is 22 cents. That's what they're estimating. As for Apple, uh, Apple had an amazing day. You can see um, closed yesterday at 145, opened up today at one, or closed today at 155, so it gained $10 per share, 7.45%, 7.5%. Um, of course, they still have a little bit to go in order to get that all time high back at 180 but considering the rest of the market which we could look at right here um, they're doing much better right 480 compared to 380 uh, let's go back to Apple check out their actual EPS right so you can see past let's actually go year scroll out they have not lost expectations since 2016 very good track record so let's see here uh, they made a dollar twenty nine instead of dollar twenty six expected. Last quarter was a dollar twenty, dollar fifty two, two ten, one twenty four, one thirty, one forty, one sixty eight, seventy three cents, sixty four, sixty three, dollar twenty four. So lately, the past I'd say eight quarters, six quarters have been all above a dollar. Uh, and that's still doing well because they split their stock, right? That's what happened. And um, for for one, so it's a dollar per share, and you've got to think of how many millions of shares there are. So that's pretty good, right? That's what you want to see is at least uh, a company this size not losing any market share and still making money. And of course, their dividend was twenty three cents a share. And it's going to be 23 cents share again 
Uh, you can see they raised it last year, 22 cents to 23. And Apple, who cares about the dividend, right? You don't invest in Apple for the dividend. You invest in it for the appreciation. Um, on the contrary, you invest in other companies for the dividend minus the appreciation. So uh, some companies you invest in for different reasons. But that's Apple and Amazon. We can also check out Google. Uh, Google's been hurt hard lately. You can see the latest earnings came in short uh, by 16%. Uh, same with the quarter before and the quarter before that. And that is why Google was once trading for 150, now under $100. Microsoft, also one that's been hurting lately. Uh, they barely beat the last earnings for 235 a share. Uh, last quarter is 223, 222, 248, 227, 217, 195. So at least they're staying above $2. And next quarter, they're expected to make $233 which is two cents short of what they made this quarter. But the stock has dropped from 350 down to 230, which is a crazy drop in a company of this size. Uh, besides that, guys, there's Facebook, which we've talked about before. A struggling, struggling, struggling company, um, losing a lot of money just in research and development, as well as share buybacks. They've bought a ton of shares in this price range. Their average is above 300 and now it's below $100 for a single share of Facebook or Meta. Uh, but this quarter they lost by 13%, uh, quarter before by 3%, quarter before they made more than expected. So you can see the earnings, 367 was once um, reality, 361, 388, now we're making $1.64 half. Uh, next quarter is supposed to be a little better, 237. But if you read that meta uh, release, the earnings report, it actually does say that they're going to keep investing in research and development expenditures are expected to increase in the following year. Uh, so if you're investing in this company because you think it's going to pay off soon, you might have to wait a little bit longer. They're expected to invest more next year. Something to think about. Besides that, guys, the market is looking better. Uh, besides all of these earnings are not looking too good. The market is bouncing back. Um, Facebook may not be included in that. But the actual market is. We can check out SP500 once again. Uh, where we are up from 349. We're up 11% in the last 11 days. Um, 11 trading days. So not too bad. But we can pull out the RSI and see exactly where we are at. So we're right at 60. Hopefully we don't get above that range, uh, the 70 range, because that's when the tides usually shift. Um, hope all is well with you. Hope you guys are making some money. Hopefully you didn't have too much Facebook or Amazon. Um, but if you do, hopefully you average down at least. That's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.